and uh, today i'm going to show you how uh, the contextual tool works uh, for placing pipe in revit okay so this is a new place i'm recording uh, please check the audio quality and the video because i'm recording with the different um, settings okay so let me show you how this works i'm going to close everything okay because uh, i just want to make sure that you understand better okay so i'm in a home page now i'm going to create a new revit file and i'm going for plumbing template okay plumbing template say okay so in case if you are preparing a plumbing project then it's better to go for plumbing template why because everything is preset and in case if you want to change anything then you can just update the template and you are good to go all right so if you are a new beginner don't worry about uh, the end result okay start learning one by one okay so for example now uh, you are a MEP modeler and you are trying to learn all the MEP tools you, you start from plumbing because plumbing is easy and then go to HVAC so if you are a mechanical guy better learn HVAC first okay and then go for electrical because if you know it's better okay now we are learning plumbing so in the last uh, session i was explaining about these plumbing tools one two three four five six seven eight nine totally nine tools what are these how this works we were learning today i'm going to show you the contextual menu when i'm taking the pipe tool so what are these options how can i use these um, contextual tools so what is contextual tools uh, relative tools okay and the options bar so what options i get when i'm trying to place a pipe what options i get so i'm going to show you what is what now so you don't get confused okay so if i escape i'm taking the plumbing tool from here i can take directly or i can drag this tool palette here and then i can start from here okay so it's up to you so whatever the way you feel comfortable you can do it so when i'm taking the pipe tool i'm getting these options what are these let's go one by one justification okay so you need to know what is justification when i'm drawing a pipe okay so the, now it is showing a small line escape go for find mode and i'm drawing a pipe let's zoom in and you can see that a small blue color dash dash line is appearing that's your location line okay that's your location line do you want that line in the center or in any of the side so that you have to decide in case if you are referring to any line if you want to give offset then you can go for justification okay so for example so now i'm drawing the pipe with the center line i'm getting a tag also okay so when i'm taking the pipe i'm having an option to switch on tag if i don't want i can switch it off okay so, and i'm drawing the pipe so i'm getting some information start offset current offset slope so that's your tool tips in case if you don't want you can just switch it off here no issues okay now let's come back to the point justification when you draw you have a location line that's in the middle in case if you want to change it to a, any of the side you can go to justification here you can see we have horizontal justification horizontal offset vertical justification so this tool is visible only in the plan and not in the elevation so you don't have to worry about um, uh, vertical justification okay so that's just your uh, location line uh, you can choose center and middle in case if you want to change it to left 
then you can change it to left and say okay now you see i'm drawing a pipe and you see this is coming in the top so that's your left see this is your left okay so if i change this to right and you see this is coming in the right side if i draw from bottom to top or top to bottom so this is changing the location line is changing left and right so you just try this tool okay so just to do some trial and error now i'm going to draw with some offset let's say 500 horizontal offset and say okay now i need the pipe horizontal uh, 500 mm offset from this center of pipe okay so now you see this is my pipe but uh, the pipe what i draw as a justification to the left side so one side so now you see in case if i take a dimension from the center to the center see it is different but center to the edge it is 500 because we have chosen left justification so don't get confused let's draw a detail line okay this is my detail line and i'm going to draw a pipe go for justification and i'm going to take the center as the horizontal justification and offset is 500 if i say okay so from the pipe i'm taking as a reference so this is coming in the bottom okay so i can change the direction and it will go in the top okay once i draw i can measure annotate dimension if i measure it will have 500 offset so that's about justification let's go to the next tool pipe so next one is automatically connect okay so i'm going to draw the pipe now it has 500 mm offset so let's go to justification let's get some normal okay zero center middle okay now i'm going to draw the pipe and i'm continuously drawing the pipe and you see it is automatically connected in case if you don't want them to be connected automatically you uncheck and then draw see again it comes with the connections so this is not just a connection it's called fittings okay now i have this pipe so now in case if i want to introduce a new pipe from here then for example now automatically connect is unchecked i'm going to draw and you see this pipe actually not connected with any fittings without fittings it is coming if i check this okay if i draw a pipe from here to here and you see the fitting is placed okay so that's the difference between automatically connect with automatically connect and without automatically connect okay i have a pipe existing pipe and i'm drawing a new pipe so do i want the pipe to be connected so that we have to check here the second one we know how it works okay so justification we know automatically connect means what we know let's go to inherit elevation okay so for example i'm drawing a pipe at middle elevation 2750 okay now i'm cha i'm changing the elevation 1000 now what i draw will be in a different level i can show you in 3d or in a elevation let's take a sectional elevation go to view and uh, you can see here these are the pipe this is the pipe i can also take a dimension 2750 and 1000 now uh, let's go to the plan now see i'm going to take a new pipe and i'm going to draw a pipe but middle elevation is something else like 650 
okay now i don't know the pipe elevation i don't know randomly i'm going to draw i don't know the pipe elevation but i want to catch the correct elevation i don't want to have any offsets i have it i don't want to have any vertical offset so i'm going to choose inherit elevation so that means whatever i'm snapping into so the, my pipe is going to grab that elevation so now 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 you see i'm going to draw a pipe and you see this is drawn in 2750 i can show you in 3d let's go to sec sectional section box now you see there is no level difference okay now i'm going to show you without without inherit elevation so i have not checked this now we are in a different elevation 650 now i'm going to draw the pipe again go to 3d view now you see the pipe is drawn in in a 650 middle elevation but we have the connection because automatically like connect is checked okay so that's the difference so do i have to draw in the same elevation or in the different elevation what i choose okay let's go to pipe again now same like elevation we can also catch the pipe size for example so here pipe size is given let's say randomly i have 15 mm but i want to match to the pipe then i can choose inherit size this is 15 mm this is something bigger okay so now i have chosen inherit size and i'm drawing the pipe now you see once I click the diameter is changed and I can directly draw. If I go to 3D view, you can see the pipe size is matched here. If I go to the plan, again I'm going to draw the pipe without inherit size. I'm changing the pipe size now. Okay. And I'm going to draw the pipe. Okay. Now see in 3D view. So this is the pipe I have drawn, this small pipe I have drawn and you see the pipe is drawn to the chosen diameter. Okay. Now why am I getting this L connection? Why am I getting this L connection? So that's the next option. Go to the plumbing plan. I'm going to pipe and see here offset connection. Should I add vertical or can I have a, a different slope? Okay, so this is the difference. Okay, for example, now I have checked this and I'm drawing the pipe. See, automatically rivet is connecting with the vertical pipe. Now, if I draw with the change slope option, uh, so it works with the elevation okay so the first point going to connect to this point so this elevation is 1000 i'm drawing in 650 now you see if once i draw now you can see it clearly let me take another section here right click go to view so here you see instead of adding a vertical pipe it is gradually sloping down to the selected level what was the level chosen 650 let me show you okay so this pipe is drawn now i i don't see any level okay let's go to the plan view and uh, okay i'm just hiding this okay let's focus on focus here let's focus here okay if i take a dimension this is thousand if i take a dimension here this will be 650 okay so it is connected with the slope 
from 650 so that's the difference okay i'm taking pipe so i can choose any offset connection i can add a vertical or i can connect with the slope so that slope regardless of sloping pipe okay sometimes we draw a drainage pipe with the slope okay in case if you want to connect immediately then you can use this change slope option okay uh, so you have to make sure that what option you are choosing so whenever you draw a pipe now let me show you this slope let's delete all the pipe so let's not get confused delete okay now i'm going to draw a pipe okay i'm going to draw a pipe now see slope is off i'm drawing a pipe okay this pipe looks so small let's change the size still it's small okay So I'm drawing a pipe and I'm going to measure the slope. No slope. Now I want to draw a pipe with the slope. Then I can go to the pipe. Then I can choose should I slope up or down. In case if it is a drainage pipe, then we, we have to slope it down, right? Select a slope down and how much slope I need. So 1 is to 40, 1 is to 80. If it is 1 is to 0, then the value will be different i'm going to show you one is to 40 i'm drawing a pipe the direction also matters okay i'm drawing a pipe okay and i'm measuring the slope go to annotate and slope this is in a different unit uh, go to edit type format and choose the unit okay now you see here it is 1 is to 40 if you select the pipe you can also inspect so this is going up in this direction okay so this is with the slope now an important learning is there okay I'll show you I'm taking a pipe then I am drawing a pipe with the slope okay now so I have drawn one straight pipe and I'm drawing the pipe with the slope okay let's say I'm going to draw uh, the pipe to the elevation of um 300 okay so but this 300 i need it somewhere here okay then i can start from here i can i can end here 2500 so that's my pipe uh, location that from there i need one is to 40 a click and then continue now you see how this works just to take a section right click go to view and you see here so this is the pipe find mode you can see here this is 1 is to 40 here the slope is different this is 1 is to 40 and here the slope is different okay this is 1 is to 6 this is 1 is to 40 this is 1 is to 6 okay so what was my comment i need to connect with the pipe so after 2500 i need 1 is to 40 slope let's measure annotate spot um no let's take an annotate align the dimension from here to here Two five three four. Actually, we have to take a line. Let's take a line. I have to measure to the right um, elevation. Okay. 
let's trim this line so this is the connection point okay so now i'm taking a aligned line from here to the center of pipe two five double zero okay have you understood see i'm drawing a pipe with the slope and that pipe to be starting from 600 okay but it has to be connected to the main pipe then the this connection can vary in slope so then i can just draw i will draw this pipe again let's go to pipe okay i need the slope 1 in 40 after 2500 distance let's say 2500 this is just a line okay this is just a line this is the pipe okay so i'm taking the pipe i need the slope down 1 in 40 slope but after 2500 but i want the pipe to be connected okay so i'm choosing change slope option i can just start from here and click once and then continue you will get the same result okay connected to the pipe after 2500 it is sloping down 1 in 40 slope so so that's a slope option i'm taking pipe okay now you know uh, what are these contextual menu okay uh, in case if you're having any doubt then you please let me know uh, i will try to explain it in another video okay uh, now what is tag on placement in case if i want a tag to be placed when i draw the pipe you can enable it and then just draw it will give you a tag whenever you draw a, a pipe okay this pipe is not visible because something to do there i think the angle was different that's why it's not drawn okay let me show you again pipe whenever you draw a pipe so here the pipe is not visible okay the elevation is different because it's going down the elevation is changing okay all right place on uh, okay tag on placement in case if you want to change the tag type then you can choose here in the options bar you can choose uh, what orientation and what tag should this have ladder and what should be the leader length let me show you how this works for example i'm going to change the um, tag okay now i'm going to draw the pipe you can see now this is coming with the question mark because uh, there is no pipe system okay and uh, in case if i have to change it back i can go here and change it back pipe size tag okay now it will come with pipe size tag so do i want this tag to be horizontal vertical or aligned to the model i can do that in case if i keep this as model then this will follow the model orientation it has to follow the model orientation it's not following why because orientation is model um something is wrong let's go to edit family select okay so vertical element middle keep readable okay so the keep readable is checked so that's why it's always um, horizontal load into project all right now if you place if i place the pipe for example like this still it is horizontal as so we have to check okay 
do I want it as horizontal or vertical in case if we change this to vertical it comes like vertical that's good okay so do I need it with the shoulder and what should be the shoulder length uh, 15 if I draw the pipe let's choose an elevation and draw the pipe and you can see this is coming with the shoulder leader leader shoulder okay i'm taking pipe again okay so now you know what are these so this option will be hidden if you don't choose tag on placement you can see now it's not accessible so when you choose tag on placement then you get all additional options okay um so what other options do you have let's come from left to right so we can instantly change the diameter of the pipe we can instantly change the type of the pipe so whatever is instant you can change and you can change the elevation of the pipe but it is middle elevation so we can't take a invert elevation okay so you have to be clear it is middle elevation okay you can choose the middle elevation you can also enter the value you can lock the value in case if you want and you can just keep drawing you see the value is changing based on the slope value okay so that's all about context your menu for placing pipe let's learn one by one in case if you're a beginner you don't rush in learning learn one by one first day i was just explaining only these tools what are these and how we can use them and uh, today we are learning the contextual menu tomorrow we will learn another topic okay